Welcome everyone to the, the first in our Innovate for Success networking forum. Um, last year, many of you uh, will know we hosted a series of, of free online innovation events and we we're exploring a, a variety of high level themes all around the subject of innovation as a driver for business growth. And since the launch of that event program, we've now put uh, several hundred participants who are either the, uh, the US or the, the Asia timed versions of these sessions. I, I said at the time our aim was to listen to the real world challenges that innovation business leaders like yourself face today and to work together to, to begin to develop a fresh new approach to helping businesses grow by unlocking their potential for innovation. And today marks the next stage in that journey. So we've, we've used each event last year uh, and the many follow on sessions we've had with uh, participants to continually listen to feedback, refine our approach, refocus the subjects we cover. Response has been very po positive and our, as our community has grown, several of you asked for these deeper dive sessions on subjects of current and critical relevance to you and your organizations, which has resulted in the launch of this, uh, Innovate for Success online event and networking forum. This is a place where together we can, we can build a innovation and leadership skills, where, where you can grow your network internationally and learn how to identify and solve problems holding that growth in your own organization. So these search sessions are about personal and career development. They are about you. So let me state very clearly right at the start, this is your forum and you should drive it in the direction you want. The topics for our monthly sessions throughout this year are largely self-selected by you guys, the forum members. And the first topic most requested was this one, the role of leadership in innovation. Now, to help us explore this subject, we are, are truly privileged to be joined by two of the leading figures in industrial innovation today, both leading technology at two of the biggest and, and most well-known industrial corporations on the planet. So please welcome Alexa Dembeck, Alexa is the Chief Technology and Sustainability Officer of DuPont and also welcome Maritz van Paul. Maritz is the CTO of Johnson Matthey. Wonderful. Well, thanks very much, Andy. And it's great to be with such a terrific group of innovators. Um, I'm humbled to be speaking on innovation leadership because I really believe that it's something that all the companies on the phone do today. So I've been the CTO for several years now, and one of the first things I did in becoming CTO, knowing this legacy, was I did three things. I outlawed civil wars, right? So no silos in the organization, no silos, no civil wars, no ability to say who owns innovation. We're all innovators. And I outlawed not invented here. So uh, one of the things we do well is just being really good at knowing innovation is critical to the company. It's critical to how we create value. And science and R&D are not the same as innovation for DuPont. I've had to make that really clear. Innovation's a business process. It's not about R&D. R&D is a component, of course, I'm a scientist, I love science. That's not the point. The point is we call it now big I. And just in case there's any doubt from little I, big I is not only new products and new applications, but manufacturing processes and new business models. Thanks everyone, thanks everyone. And um, Alexa, the other thing that uh, you you mentioned, which I made a note of, you you, you talked a number of times saying it's really hard. Innovation is really this stuff is really hard, and and that provides me with a fantastic link to our next guest because one of the quotes I like from Maritz uh, recently was you said on our, one of our last discussions, Maritz was innovation is not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, that's true. So you will you. Uh... It's screen the sheets yeah it's all right thanks yeah i made some notes so for all of you um so uh, welcome everybody thanks for having me here today uh, andy and team um there's a little bit of a few sheets i made some notes you can distribute read them uh and a little bit of background on the company as well i don't want to show that now here but if you're interested in what we do that there's a few sheets on that and andy can distribute if you want so but of course i want to focus here also like alexa on the question that we were asked and that is about uh leadership and innovation so what what i did was i just made some notes from personal experience and and i think first thing that i that i noted was noted down was you are a role model 
as a leader in the innovation space. It's not by choice. It's just what you are, whether you call it the chief innovation officer, a VP, SVP, CTO, doesn't matter. You know, senior leaders in the company, in particular in, 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 in our space, they are, they are role models. So it starts from me. I always call that, uh, and Andy knows, that tone from the top. And, and that needs to be very, very genuine and very, very credible. And you need to walk the talk as top team. I'll, I'll come back to that in the, uh, the next sheet. And, and there has to be a genuine drive to grow the company because, because you need to rally a lot of people be, behind this. And for us, that's uh, at Johnson Matthew, it's 1,500 people in R&D. That's only the technical community. But of course, it's not just about the technical community. It is about this winning triangle, I always call it, of technology, R&D, marketing, sales, the, cost, the customer orientation, and of course, the manufacturing organization. You know, I think from a marketing and sales organization, I expect that they translate customer trends and market trends and what have you into something that, you know, a kind of uh, description of what R&D needs to develop. And then, of course, manufacturing needs to be on board from day one, because if you develop something that we can't produce or it's just too costly or the assets are not there and capital's not allocated, that also doesn't work. 